Hey folks, in this video I'll show you how to make a timing rod to measure your reaction time and I'll explain the science behind it. So your reaction time is the time taken for you to respond to a stimulus. In this case, someone letting go of that wooden rod here. Having a low reaction time could give you a head start in a race and it could make you a better gamer as you're reacting quicker to the information you're seeing on screen. So, how to test your reaction time then? I started off with this wooden rod which I bought from Hobbycraft for the princely sum of £1.65. It's 91 centimetres long and I only needed it to be half that length, so it's time to get out the hacksaw. Once I cut it in half, I needed to mark the lines on it that indicate the time. It's time for a little bit of physics. So this is the equation we use to work out where to draw the lines. S is equal to ut plus half at squared. Now it looks a little bit scary, but it's not actually that bad. S is the distance fallen by the rod in a certain time. This is what I'll need to calculate for reaction times of 0.1 to 0.3 seconds. U is the initial vertical velocity of the rod just before it's dropped. Because U is equal to 0, we can get rid of this part of the equation, which makes it a little bit easier. A is the acceleration due to gravity on Earth. Now I'm assuming you're not going to be using this timing rod on another planet, otherwise you'll have to use a different value of G. Anyway, on Earth, G is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared, which means that if you drop something, it'll speed up by 9.8 meters per second every second as it falls, as long as we ignore air resistance. And finally, T is the time the object, the rod in this case, has been falling. If we plug in values of time into the equation, then we can find how far the rod will fall in that time, and that's where we should make our marks on it. So here are the values we get for reaction times of 0.1 seconds to 0.3 seconds. I should also say that the equation allows us to calculate distance fallen in metres, and I've converted it to centimetres. As an example, if your reaction time is 0.24 seconds, then the rod will drop 28.2 centimetres before you catch it between your fingers. So we should make a line 28.2 centimetres from one end of the rod and mark it as 0.24 seconds. We should also do the same for all the other values so that we end up with something like this. If you're making one yourself, then you could always paint the rod first to make it a little more attractive. To measure someone's reaction time, hold the rod still and get them to place their thumb and first finger either side of it. Drop the rod, but don't let them know when you're going to do it. The position where they catch it will indicate how long it was dropping for, which is of course the reaction time. So why not make one yourself and give it a go? If you'd like to know a little bit more about reaction times, then here's a website I found recently, humanbenchmark.com. You can test your reaction time on there, as well as your visual memory, typing speed, number memory, and so on. It's free and well worth a look. So if you found this video interesting, then why not subscribe to the channel and ring the bell, so that you'll be made aware when new videos come out, including more experiments that you can do at home. See you next time.